Here it's 16 August and the bell peppers, you can see they're, they're growing. They're getting right on up there. They're, they're up to seven feet, some of them up there. Here's a new bell pepper that I've got this year. It's called a Mexi Bell. Uh, small little round red ones. Uh, they're growing pretty good. Uh, they're a little hotter than the average just plain uh, uh, bell pepper. So they're good for some salads or something like that. And as you can see, we've got lots of bell peppers coming on there. These are all going to be yellow ones here when they get ripe. And here's some more. Another bush has got the yellow bell pepper on there coming along. Well, it's a beautiful day on the 12th of September. It's not too hot. It's very pleasant outside. Humidity's low. Temperature in the morning was in the high 50s. Garden's coming along pretty well for the fall, for the early fall. And particular, of course, is the bell pepper. I grow bell pepper and red and yellow bell pepper primarily, and they sort of like grow unusually high. I have to, they're brittle and I have to keep them tied up, but they go on up, and you'll see some of them there over seven feet tall right now and they've got lots of bell peppers. Here we got one of the red ones. It's got some of them that are ripe now and some green ones coming along. Another red one's got bell pepper on them ready to pick. This is one of the yellows that's going on up there and it's still producing and it's way up there over seven feet and uh, so I'll still have bell pepper for quite a while. Tried something a little new this year. I went and uh, since I'd had such great success of having bell pepper to Pepper to live through the uh, summer and, and then into the uh, fall. Uh, I decided I'd go and buy some more plants uh, and I planted them in little pots uh, toward the latter part of June and I've put them out here in, in, uh, in July so they've grown all this big since July. And they're producing, there's a nice red one there. And here we got one of the red bell pepper there just coming along and it's being very productive. Uh, quite a number of bell peppers on there ready to pick and then some more of them coming along. Hey, there's a hummingbird there. Look at that, that hummingbird there. He's around here and he's probably attracted to these mammoth uh, bell pepper I've got. Uh, it's about six feet tall the plant is and these fruit are huge. They're somewhere right around probably seven, eight inches long. And uh, they uh, are nice thick shell. This is what's called a mammoth uh, bell pepper. And look at those things. Those things about oh about eight inches long or something like that. And they're they're thick. They're not. This is not a thin bell pepper. It's a nice thick walled bell pepper. Just great, great producer. Here's a little closer up view of those great big bell pepper called a mammoth bell pepper. They're ready to. Uh, harvest right now, so I'll be cutting them off today. And a beautiful yellow one. Great big, nice big yellow one. The one beside of that green one. It'll be turning yellow before long. Here's some unique peppers. They are hot, very hot. And from the shape of them, you can probably figure out what the name of them all the name of them are. They're called Peter Peppers. Here's one of those yellow bell pepper. The plants got some that aren't ripe yet. They keep growing and growing and growing and growing. This thing is over seven feet tall right now. Here we got some yellow beauties there. And then we've got some right down next to them. Got some red ones. They're ready to pick too. And here you can see a mixture of the red and the yellow. They're ready to harvest. They're coming along. And then you can look in the background and see this yellow, the one I said it's up about eight feet tall now. Well, it's the 25th of September, and here's today's harvest. I've been out there picking these things. And you can see in the foreground there, I've got those mammoth bell peppers. Uh, those things are about seven, eight inches, and they're all thick, thick skinned, so that's really good. The reds, and I got the yellows, great big, beautiful yellows. And then on top of the yellow is that red one's called a Mexi Bell. It's a little hot, it's not bad at all. Then you've got some miniature yellows there. Those are good, supposedly just to pop in your mouth to eat. They're all right. And then there's the 
uh, Peter Peppers there. Uh, but quite a nice harvest here for today. And uh, they'd be put, put to good use. Here's some yellow bell peppers coming right along. Some's going to be ready pretty soon here. And then there's more to come later. And this thing is about, uh, oh, six and a half feet tall. This red bell pepper, you can see there's one down there on the bottom there. And as we come on up, there's some all in here. There's more. There's one you can see like through there that's going to be ready very soon. And another one back in there, that's probably ready to pick now. And it's coming on along, and it is like it's six feet tall. And here's another red bell pepper right beside the other one here. And it's got bell peppers on it all the way over. You can see some in the back there. There's some in there, and they're just coming right along. And all the way up to the top, and it's almost six feet tall. Well, it's mid-October, and... Still, the bell peppers are rather plentiful here. Uh, lots of red bell pepper coming along, and uh, you'll see some of those. And here's some more of them over here on this plant here. It's got one that be coming along there, and others all along here. So there's still lots of red bell pepper coming along. And we've got some yellow ones, yellow ones, gray, big yellow ones coming along here. Uh, some real beauties there. And some more red ones, lots of red ones there. These are ready to be picked. And here's a yellow bell pepper. It's all ready to be picked. And next to it is the real tall giant. I mean, it's got one coming along green, one coming along down there. But it's got a beauty ready to be picked. And here's one that's got a little green. And it's coming on up there. And it's coming on up there and up there. That thing is over eight feet tall. Uh, my height comes to right where this bell paper is, and this goes on up there a couple more feet. Like, wow. And uh, here's here's one of these maxi bells here. Uh, look at the size of that thing, and that thing is a good bell pepper. It's a thick skin bell pepper, not any thin thing like, uh, like a banana pepper. And there's some more coming Another along. Another beauty. There. Another red bell pepper coming along. We've, It'll be a couple of weeks and be all nice and red. And I ready. want to show you this one yellow bell pepper, like how high they're getting. And this one right here, as you can see, a nice yellow bell pepper is coming along in here. And I've got more coming up here. I mean, they're reaching up. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm 5'10", so these things are about uh, 8 feet tall up here. Well, it's a beautiful October the 23rd day on a Sunday. Uh, the birds are all out there. And so just a very, very nice day today. And I'm going to show you the bell peppers and the other peppers over there and see where they are like today. And I'm going to also... Uh, go back and show you some other videos I've done in the past couple of months of the bell peppers so you can see how they've progressed. Here's the knockout rose, uh, still blooming, looking good. And we got impatience there, they're just still hanging on there. It's sort of a bush, it really actually turns into a tree. Uh, down in the south part of Florida and Key West, I got this, uh, got a little bitty plant I dug up, uh, pulled up when I was in Key West probably about four years ago and planted it. And keep it protected in the garage in the wintertime, and it comes out and has nice little blooms on it. And the Here, butterflies. Even toward the end of October, the bell pepper is still producing and still got some to come along on this red bell pepper plant. Here's some mini bell pepper I've grown this year for the first time. Uh, they're pretty good. They are good just to like to put in a salad and just bite and eat the whole thing. And I've shown before here are the maxi bells. These are red and they're, they're thick skinned and they just taste like a regular uh, red bell pepper. Of course here's the real hot ones. Here's the one for making pepper sauce. They're ready to be picked. While it's toward the end of October you can see that I've still got, these are uh, yellow bell pepper. Uh, it's going to be a number of weeks before they're ready to go. 
So I'll be having some bell pepper uh, right on until the frost. And here on this tall yellow one, the one I just showed you here earlier, that is about eight feet tall. Uh, you can see we've got bell pepper there. Uh, those will take a number of weeks to develop. And um, so I may have bell pepper even into December or until the frost comes. So again, lots of bell pepper in Tallahassee, Florida in the fall. Uh, just lots of them, the red one and the yellow ones are coming along here. So we've got lots of them to come. Just take good care of them and they'll produce for a long And the pineapple's com coming along well too. It'll probably be December before this pineapple is ripe and ready to eat.